So I'm Claire Smith, I'm Head of Spirit Creation and Mixology for Belvedere Vodka. I think the common perception of vodka, um, particularly outside of Central and Eastern Europe, is that it should be anonymous, tasteless, colourless, odourless. And that as a definition doesn't really turn me on. You know, if you look at the US definition of vodka, it says a spirit with that distinctive colour, taste, aroma. It's an anti-definition. When there's the reality that vodka that comes from the birthplace of vodka, which is Poland, we distill our vodka to actually have a personality of the raw material that it's distilled from. Which means that when you're distilling from rye, as Belvedere does, you really want to taste that rye. Um, and if you don't drink vodka every day, day in, day out, professionally, then that expression of the grain is actually more felt as in a, a kind of textural reference. So the trick to really testing whether vodka is good or bad is to assess its texture, its mouthfeel, the weight, the body of the spirit. We all know what a really bad vodka feels like, more so than the taste of a bad vodka. A bad vodka feels thin, it feels aggressive, it feels hot. Uh, you kind of tend to do those funny little dances. Um, but a great vodka should be smooth, soft, should really roll across the tongue, and then you should get some of the characteristics of the raw material. In the case of Belvedere, you're going to get a soft, subtle sweetness, a sense of vanilla, vanilla ice cream, a little nuttiness that's going to come entirely from the grain, because what we're trying to do is to create an eau de vie of rye rather than a neutral grain spirit.